thanks to everybody for coming it's and to the parents we wouldn't be here today without your kids and we appreciate it so much we've had the youth leadership montgomery program now for 14 years uh, and five years in partnership with maryland leadership workshops and tonight these terrific students will be joining over 300 other youth leadership montgomery graduates who have completed the program this says leadership montgomery in recognition of generous sponsorship of youth leadership montgomery program i'm really proud to present this to you for us to you well, thank okay. you very much Uh, with the youth, obviously uh, they are our future, as they say. Um, we've been doing it for a number of years now, and uh, every time I come to this event, I'm just so pleased with uh, uh, how great you guys all are. Every year, year after year after year, they're all just tremendous leaders, and I uh, just want to offer my congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, tonight, you'll hear from the students about their experience. They'll present the $1,000 donation to the Reginald Glory Center that they selected, the Reginald Glory Center for Infants and Young Children, the nonprofit of their choice, and then the culmination of the evening will be the presentation of the diplomas. So I'd like to invite the students up for their portion of the program. <laughs> Okay, good evening. Uh, thank you very much for being here to, this evening uh, to celebrate our graduation from MLW, or Youth Leadership Montgomery. It has been a great opportunity and privilege to have been part of, of Youth Leadership Montgomery as it has proven to be a valuable experience to, make, to help make us better leaders. We would like to thank all our dedicated and, and special, uh, our dedicated staff and special guests, speakers, and presenters, particularly uh, Ms. Esther B. Newman, Miss uh, Kat Kathleen Gimmes, Miss Carol, and Miss Carol, it, 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 Ippolito. Ippolito, I'm sorry. <laughs> and, Mr. And, and I would like to give special thanks to Mr. Richard Wright, who is not present this evening, who informed me and encouraged me to be part of this wonderful program f and for her service in the, in the Hispanic community. Uh, thank you again very much for being here this evening. Over the summer, we all attended Maryland Leadership Workshops. I think I can speak for everyone when I say that it has changed our lives in one way or another. It taught us how to become better leaders and how to act in certain situations. We learned how to give positive feedback to speakers and how to motivate people while speaking. Although these are very common skills, as leaders it is our job to perfect these in every situation. At MLW I made lifelong friends whom I plan to keep in touch with for a long time. MLW is a great place to meet all the other people who would be joining us in YLM. In addition, we met all the other students from around Maryland attending the summer workshop. At MLW, we played games that let us get to know each other better and also allowed us to test our abilities to communicate. For example, for an activity, we had to pass ideas for an egg cushion down the chain of command. We learned about many aspects of leadership that were, again, reinforced by our time at YLM. We also practiced listening skills and discussed things like the morality of file for, uh, sharing websites. Maryland Leadership Workshop was a life-changing experience. Before attending MLW, I was shy and friendly and had low self-esteem. At MLW, we learned about leadership using communication, motivation, and persuasion skills. I went back to school that fall feeling confident, optimistic, and proud of myself for who I am. And I now have new problems with meeting new people, giving a speech, or participating in a comp competition, and have better relationship with my family, friends, and teachers. I now realize that leadership is the key to success, happiness, and a better life. Throughout this whole experience, my understanding of a leader has changed dramatically. I clearly remember the first day when taking a survey. One of the questions involved advocacy. To be honest, I didn't know even know what this word meant and its meaning. This is one specific example of how my understanding has changed. Not to mention, throughout all the workshops and the guest speakers, I was able to apply these different concepts to a universal meaning of leadership. However, I discovered that leadership was not easy to define or easy to spot out when at early age. Leaders can be seen all leaders can be seen all over from from all parts of the world, representing different ideas and coming from diverse backgrounds. Many 
People may also be developed into leaders through workshops just like Youth Leadership Montgomery. I can now proudly say I have developed from an unaware team to a proud leader. Youth Leadership Montgomery has exposed us to so many different ideas and has truly changed our way of viewing leadership. No longer can we say we do not know who the leader is. No longer will a leader be the president or the secretary or someone even at the top of our school. This program has taught us the values in order for us to become those people <coughs> which we once aspired to. The beauty of this program is that it helped each and every one of us redefine our image of a leader and therefore redefine ourselves. At our first Wildland Saturday session, we had the opportunity to interact with Richard <coughs> President and CEO of Strathmore. During the conversation, we debated what the definition of a leader was and whether leaders were born or made. The general consensus was that a leader is someone that is able to coordinate a group of people effectively or to achieve a common goal. It, do, it does not make a difference whether a leader is leading a family, community, or country. Leaders should be innately motivated to act on an issue that is important to them, but over time, true leaders continuously improve their leadership through learning and practice. Therefore, it is very much possible that a person not born with strong leadership qualities can develop them through observation and practice. The exercise allowed us to understand not only the effectiveness of leadership, but the importance of actively pursuing leadership opportunities that in turn will benefit the community. Public speaking has always been one of my greatest fears, just below clowns and spiders. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, America agrees with me. On the national level, public speaking ranks even above death. So it's no wonder I feel like this. Butterflies in my stomach, my heart's beating a mile a minute, I'm pretty sure my face is beat red, and there might be a little nausea involved. <laughs> Sound familiar? <laughs> but I'll be okay. In our first YLM session, Art Dwight came to speak to us about public speaking. Remember to smile, to make eye contact, to speak clearly, and to avoid ahs, ums, and errs. And my favorite piece of advice, the audience is rooting for you. You guys don't want to be bored or confused. You want my presentation to be interesting. I hope I'm meeting, I hope I'm, uh, meeting your standards. <laughs> Since Mr. Dwight's presentation, I can say definitively that I've become more confident at the podium, and I'm sure everyone else feels the same way. We all gain something from Mr. Dwight. Now, multiply that by two, by two presenters per session, and five sessions in the program, and you will begin to understand what YLM has done for all of us. At the same session, we were all given a leadership handbook called Everyday Leadership, Attitudes and Actions for Respect and Success. The first assignment Katie gave us was to interview a leader that we know and ask them what they think a leader is. At the next session, we shared the ideas we got. It was interesting to see that a leader is more than just its definition. Aside from the given, organize a group, people went as deep to defining a leader as someone who genuinely cares for others or someone who is willing to step back and let someone else lead. I know that discussing what others leader, what other leaders think a leader should be will make all of us become better leaders. At our second Saturday session, we participated in a listening activity. We were asked to get with one partner and ask one question about them. Your vacation, greatest moment. <laughs> they spoke for one moment without any interruptions. We repeat the process until we had spoken with everyone. I, as well as others, though, remember entering this activity thinking it was going to be pointless. Although by the end, we realized that we were all wrong. We had jumped to the conclusion without realizing the difficulties in listening. 